Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Hey, can I have all my music back? Oh, yeah, just kidding. <laughs> Sorry. Just take it. Uh, we're all kind of sick, so you might just bear with us <laughs> on the singing and stuff, but let's praise God. Thank you. 
Accept our worship and our praise, Father God.
Oh, 
So R2D2 rolls up, and C2 throw up, they roll up and they tap ever so gently on this big iron door. And before anything could happen, he turns, oh, doesn't look like there's anybody home. And he starts to listen. And I thought about how in our daily life, in our walk with Christ, we are called to go to the enemy's camp, and we're called to take back what has been taken from us, right? We're called to do that. But how many of us are like C3? C-3PO, sorry, sorry. Anyway, we're like him. We're timid, and we're kind of not feeling like we're able to do what he's called us to do, right? We tap ever so gently on our neighbor's door, hoping they don't hear it, where we don't have to tell them about Jesus, because we're scared to death of what they might say or what they might do to us. But then there's little r 2 He's so short, so small, and he can barely even roll in the sand. But he stands firm. He doesn't retreat, and he waits for something to happen at that door. He's there waiting, and as soon as the little eyeball thing comes out and starts to talk to him, he's like, hey, we're here, and we're coming in. We're not afraid. And what are you going to do about it? So, of course, the door opens and they're able to go in. And I'm not going to tell you how all of this ends, but the good guys always win. So I want you guys to feel, don't, don't be like Don't be timid and shy and afraid to share what Jesus has done in your heart with those people around you. Don't tap gently on your neighbor's heart when you're trying to tell them about what Jesus has done. Be bold. Be bold like, like R2-D2. And don't back away from a challenge. He didn't back away from that challenge at all, even though they could have just destroyed him. He didn't back away from it. He kept going and, kept, and, and victory. I mean, they did prevail. How many of you want that story to be your life story? That you didn't back down and you prevailed against the enemy. You took back what had been taken from you. I want to encourage you this week. To be like that little robot. It's kind of funny. They call Randy R2 uh, a new job. <laughs> I think that's kind of, kind of funny. Too. It's not a lot, <laughs> they, call him, they call him R2 because the man that he works for is Randy. And so he's pretty cool. So but think about how you just described R2. But you know. Good morning. Um, yes. uh, how he works. You know, Pat's been cancer free now for seven years. Amen. Amen. Yeah, Self employed, <clears throat> we've had insurance, we haven't had insurance, we've had it, we have it. At that time, we did, still don't. But anyhow, <laughs> God provided every penny, every penny to pay for all that. I should, okay, so uh, anyhow, then we got uh, one of the last bills was radiology. Uh, they read the x rays, and we looked at that and I said, Why? I mean, this was astronomical, okay, for what we thought they did, anyhow. She says, uh, we're going to $10 them to death every month. <laughs> so, anyhow, that's been going on for seven years. So, and we don't owe, thank you, Lord, and hardly nothing to nobody. But um, we've been praying about paying a few little things off. So uh, I said, well, I'm going to call that woman. She said, won't do you any good. I said, well, I'm going to call her. Anyhow, I think, the balance, I think the balance was 500 $85. 580 or something like that. And uh, I was thinking, man, we just cut it in half, you know, man. That woman come back on the phone and says, 105. And I said, no, ma'am, you got your numbers are wrong. Your numbers are wrong. And uh, she said, no, I went and talked to my supervisor. And we've been doing that $10. But we were faithful. Yeah. We never missed a $10 payment all that whole while. And uh, she said, no, that's right, $105. My hand just flew up. Thank you, Lord.